Ruth Slater is let out of jail subsequent to serving 20 years for killing a sheriff who came to expel her and her five-year-old sister Katie, whom Ruth was bringing up in their life as a youngster home after the demise of their dad, their mom having passed on during labor. Upon her delivery, Ruth is acquainted with her probation officer Vince Cross, and gets two concurrent positions, all while looking for her alienated more youthful sister. Katie, presently living with her receptive family, scarcely recalls Ruth, yet encounters recollections of injury. These recollections make Katie be engaged with an auto crash, and she is compelled to get back to her new parents' home while she recuperates. Katie's folks stress that her recollections of Ruth, as well as the way that she might be some way or another mindful of her delivery, caused the mishap. They concur that they were all in all correct to conceal the reality of the past from Katie, to her benefit. As they would like to think a sister who is an indicted killer can offer her nothing. In the meantime, Keith, the oldest child of the sheriff Ruth killed, has learned about Ruth's delivery and starts following her, realizing where she resides and where she works. Not entirely set in stone to plot vengeance however can't get his more youthful sibling Steve ready, as he has his very own group, and continually tells Keith to let it be. While in the gathering home, Ruth gets an unknown call. The individual on the opposite stopping point considers her a cop executioner, to which Ruth answers by hanging up the telephone. As she re-enters her room, Ruth finds one of her flatmates disrupting the no-taking guideline by going through her effects searching for obscure things. Ruth goes after the flatmate, driving her away from the room. At some point, Ruth gets back to her previous home and is flabbergasted to see it completely remodeled. She meets the new inhabitants, John and Liz Ingram. John welcomes Ruth inside, and she is additionally intrigued with basically everything. As Ruth leaves, John, feeling thoughtful towards Ruth, offers her a ride to the bus station. Ruth discovers that John is a corporate legal counselor, and she educates him concerning her quest for Katie, and John chooses to help her. Be that as it may, not long later, John learns reality with regards to Ruth's past. Ruth apologizes for lying yet John actually consents to take on her case. While Ruth is working her second work on a building site, Steve advances inside and momentarily converses with Ruth who knows nothing about who Steve is. Steve specifies her folks and Ruth expresses that they are dead. Stephen apologizes to which Ruth answers life goes on. As Ruth leaves, Steve stays behind and goes through Ruth's effects, finding the presence of Katie when he tracks down a photo of her. John finds the area of Katie and her loved ones. He contacts the guardians, Michael and Rachel Malcolm, who hesitantly consent to secretly meet with Ruth. During the gathering, Ruth figures out that Michael and Rachel have purposely not enlightened Katie concerning her and have kept every one of the letters that she kept in touch with Katie during her years in jail. They scold Ruth that Katie doesn't know about or recall her by any means, and it is best for her assuming it remains as such. At the point when Ruth experiences an eruption of feeling, the Malcolms irately storm out of the room. Emily, the more youthful took on sister of Katie, hears her folks discussing Ruth and finds the letters. As she understands them, Emily is both contacted and moved by Ruth's words and is diminished to tears. Emily willingly volunteers to contact Ruth and orchestrate a gathering to assist with responding to the inquiries she read in the letters lastly give Ruth the harmony she frantically looks for. Toward the finish of their gathering, Emily illuminates Ruth that Katie will have a practice at a nearby hall soon thereafter. As Emily gets back, Steve stalks her, finding where she resides. Ruth gets back to the Ingram's home. She needs to converse with John as she currently has a valuable chance to meet Katie at the practice and needs his expert assessment, but he isn't home. Ruth is drawn nearer by an irate Liz who tells her she doesn't find in her everything that her significant other sees and says to Ruth to leave. Through flashbacks, it is uncovered that it was the five-year-old Katie who had really discharged the shot that had killed the sheriff, yet Ruth brought the fault and went to jail to safeguard her. Learning reality, Liz feels thoughtful towards Ruth and drives her to the presentation. In the wake of finding out about Katie, Steve turns out to be more tenacious on vengeance, in any case, he gets his sibling Keith in bed with his significant other and beats him prior to stomping out of the house. Roused by his annoyance, he grabs Emily, confusing her with Katie. As Ruth shows up at the presentation, she gets a call from Steve who requests that Ruth come to where they are. Liz drives her to the area and, becoming mindful of the circumstance, 
calls the specialists as Ruth heads inside. Steve announces his expectation to kill the young lady, yet when Ruth communicates distress and regret for everything that has occurred, he can't proceed with it. Ruth helps Emily out of the room, then surrenders herself to the police and Steve is captured. Vince shows up at the scene and Ruth is delivered soon after. As Ruth leaves with Vince, she sees that Emily's folks and Katie have come to get Emily, and Ruth, and Katie at long last meet and embrace one another. Thank you for watching and see you again in another movie story.